Praise the Lord. God bless you today in Jesus' name. This is Samuel E. Molombe, your beloved friend and brother in the Lord. And I welcome you on this platform in Jesus' name. Now, if you're seeing me for the first time, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for checking up on this channel. Please kindly um, do well to subscribe and like the video and share it probably. It's going to meet the person that God is speaking to. And maybe I might be talking to you. Maybe this prophetic word is directed straight to you. Now, before I record any prophetic video, I pray a lot about it to see if God wants me to release it at that time. To see if God is actually a test. I wait for confirmations and confirmations before I go ahead to record. So every, every prophetic video is directed at someone. Not necessarily for everybody, but it's directed at someone. God says you've loved the wrong person. God is speaking to somebody that is watching me right now. You have loved the wrong person. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that may this prophetic word, you know, be targeted to the right person. Let it, you know, minister life to them in Jesus' name. Amen. So family, God is interested in every aspect of your life. God is interested. The Bible tells us that God is interested in the number of hairs that are on your head. If God is interested in, I mean, your hair, the Bible says none of them fall without his permission. It means God is interested in your love life. Now, the Lord showed me someone connected to me on this platform. Someone that will be watching this video. And there is a wrong person in your love life. Now, how do you know that you're the, you're the one I'm talking about? Number one, if his interests are not in the things of God and your interests are in the things of God, you know it's a wrong person. Yeah, if he's an unbeliever, he's a wrong person. I bet the apostle, um, I think that he, he loves me. If he doesn't love God, he can't love you right. He cannot love you right. And you see, the feeling of love doesn't make your connection to anybody correct. Just because you feel something for someone doesn't mean you should be with them. There are many other things you consider before giving your life to someone because the union of marriage or being in relationship, being intimate and even getting, you know, physical, it's a covenant. You're covenanting yourself with someone. You two become one. So it's very, it's a very spiritual, complicated um, 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 situation. You've got to address it technically and spiritually. If this person loves you more than he loves God, he's the wrong person. As, 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 as straightforward as that sounds, it's just true. If he prefers to be with you more than he would love to be with the Lord, he's the wrong person. Anyone who can't love God can't love you right. You must understand that. I'm praying for your, your love life. I'm praying for your kingdom marriages. That God is going to bring the right person into your life. That together you will serve the Lord and be a power couple in the name of Jesus. Every one of you that are married and you're going through difficulties in your marriage, God is going to see you through this season. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you today. In Jesus' name. Be sure to write me, send me a mail, and, and tell me how I can pray for you and your relationship. God bless you. Shalom.